some males watch over and transport their offspring. Others help in conceiving of their young in most unusual ways. Such is the case of this tiny male toad, no bigger than a snail, who assumes a role usually reserved for the opposite sex. He can be found in most forests across Europe, like this one near Fontainebleau close to Paris, quite far away from the ponds where frogs and toads usually live. His specialty is looking after the female's eggs until they hatch. That's why he was given the name of Midwife Toad. Once a year, these males are solicited by females to take care of the eggs. They find each other using a distinctive call that sounds more like a recorder than a croak. Despite what it seems, this is not a coupling. It's a massage. Gently pressing on the female's back, the male helps her give birth to dozens of eggs embedded in a gelatinous ribbon and instantly fertilizes them. The male digs his hind legs into the sticky substance and takes hold of the eggs, then goes to find a damp area to hide. Other toad species lay eggs directly in the water, but for the midwife toad, it's more complicated. His mission involves keeping the eggs moistened at regular intervals. In theory, a simple task, except when you're only five centimeters big and are carrying a pack of eggs between your hind legs. And there's no water close by. Obstacles can take on a whole other dimension. On top of all that, he must be very vigilant. With the determination and courage of a soldier, he overcomes all obstacles. When his worst enemy, the sun, threatens his precious cargo, the toad sometimes takes huge risks to keep the eggs safe. The little water in this puddle, muddy as it is, will do. Head-to-toe camouflage is an added bonus. weeks have passed. The tadpoles have reached maturity. Their movements signal to the father that his journey is coming to an end. Soon, he'll have to find a deeper pond to release them in. In the water, the egg's shells become a thin skin that the tadpoles shed quite easily to set off on their own. The midwife toad carried out his mission brilliantly. The births were successful, few perhaps, but the survival of the species is assured. Let's stay in the water. 
but this time in the salted ones of the Mediterranean off the coast of Toulon. The seahorse has the most fascinating male of all species. It's a fish with the head of a horse, the tail of a dragon, and small fins that are barely visible. His behavior is unique in the animal kingdom. He is the one who carries the babies in his belly before bringing them into the world. In spring, when the temperature of the water becomes mild, gentlemen seahorses approach the ladies. In a delicate aquatic dance, the male fills his belly with the female's eggs. He thus frees the female of her maternal duties, giving her extra precious time to produce new eggs. One month later, hidden in the seagrass, the male seahorse with his well-rounded belly is ready to give birth. The female who is not far remains watchful. This is an extraordinary image of a stunning and unique natural phenomenon. Finally, the remarkable event takes place. First, the eggs hatch inside the ventral pouch. Then they are forced out during birth. The seahorse changes colors from the effort spent during contractions. The birth of some 300 little seahorses lasts three hours. They are barely five millimeters long and scatter about in all directions. Daddy has given it his all. It will take him several days to recuperate. The male seahorse will have accomplished an incredible magic trick, that of a male giving birth. Only some of them will reach adulthood. If there is enough food, and if they manage to evade the many predators at the bottom of the sea, in turn, these males will carry out the reproduction of the species. <laughs>